As much time as I spend on the Louisiana portion of the Meridian Speedway, a goal of mine for the summer was to dedicate a few trips to capturing freight action on the Mississippi section. If you watched my previous video, you saw the process of how trains interchange over NS rails to KCS in Meridian, Mississippi. So let's move on down the line to Newton, Mississippi. This is Kansas City Southern, the Meridian sub. Newton's railroad presence is pretty impressive. While the Waco-owned Mississippi Southern Short Line interchanges with KCS, something much older and historic remains in town. The Chamber of Commerce is set in the old depot right by downtown. This depot was built in 1904 by the Alabama and Vicksburg, one of the earliest owners of this section of track. It would later be folded into the growing Illinois Central. By the depot sits a classic ICG caboose as well. We captured three trains through this town during two consecutive days. The first was in the last hours of sunlight, westbound intermodal with its new symbol, Z-A-I-L-A. -A. This is one of the daily Union Pacific stack trains with haulage rights. Once reaching Shreveport, Louisiana, KCS will hand over the stack train to the UP for the rest of its journey to California. Also of note is trailing third is the UP Veterans Unit 1943, the spirit of Union Pacific. One plus side of being on the eastern end of the speedway is getting opportunities to film trains that usually traverse the Louisiana section at night. An example is this MSHNS. This manifest typically runs through my area in the middle of the night. A solo ace would lead the eastbound as a Canadian National GE locomotive would bring up the rear. MSHNS would meet a westbound mixed freight just up the line, and within 20 to 30 minutes, the signal would indicate a westbound. Manifest MNSJA is seen fresh off NS rails making way for High Oak Yard near Jackson. We jump ahead to Forest to catch MNSJA once again. While this grain industry makes a nice backdrop, it looks to be closed. If it isn't, I guess there just isn't much activity here. High Oak Yard is where several of the Speedway trains terminate or originate. We see a yard job with a fresh cut of rolling stock come all the way out of the yard where it will then shove back into a different track. Along with trains coming out of High Oak, several run-through trains stop here and switch as well. 
A pair of bail jeeps are in charge of this yard job, which is the usual case. Over to the left, you'll notice the lone SD-70 ACE sitting in the small spur track. I'm not sure what the official purpose of this track is, but it seems to be where they just store locomotives on occasions. When I was here a year ago, an AC-44 was sitting here and was taken into the yard later on that evening. Two videos ago, I posted a compilation of catches over here at the busy control point switch tender. Here KCS crosses over the former Illinois Central Main Line, currently operated by Canadian National. We see a MSHNS that just received permission to cross over, with a solo GVO leading the charge. This manifest originates at the large Duramus classification yard in Shreveport, Louisiana. The train traverses the entire speedway until reaching Meridian, where it will then continue to Irondale, Alabama as Norfolk Southern Train 340. Just west of Jackson, the town of Clinton offered us two catches as well. Towards the morning time, we got daily intermodal IDAAT negotiating the curves with another elevator in the background. Later on in the day, we would snag MARSH from Artesia heading for Shreveport. It's worth noting that Clinton is a silent zone throughout the town. The main reason I'd assume is Mississippi College's campus being nearby the tracks. We would get the M-A-R-S-H in one more location, Edwards. I've been wanting this shot for a long time. This neat little Mississippi town makes for an excellent backdrop with the large yellow house overlooking on the hill. If this scene looks familiar to you, you may recognize it from the hit movie, Oh Brother Where Out Thou, starring George Clooney. I believe it's in the final scene. Well, that's all I got for you in this edition of the Meridian Subdivision. I hope you enjoyed, and as always, thanks for watching.